Good morning, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. Today is a little bit of a thing. I've got somebody coming over to take a look at Zuzu and see if she wants to take him home to her farm where there are many more hens than there are at our place. So, I know you're such a big pretty boy. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of that going on. I have mixed feelings about this. He's he's a really good rooster and he deeply dislikes me. He's just also a dinosaur. <laughs> he's just, he's such a good rooster. He's got all his women together. He's doing a really good job protecting them, keeping them all in one space, away from the terrible humans. He lives to breed and there are, there are only five hens for him to do it with. And uh, my hens are starting to suffer a little bit. So I think we're gonna become a women only flock and we're doing our best to find Zuzu a place where he can live his best life and breed to his little chicken heart's content. So y'all keep your fingers crossed. I'm thinking good thoughts um, for the woman who's gonna come by and see this bird today and bring him to a place where he can live his best life. <laughs> Look at him calling all the hens out because he found something good to eat. So this is our current situation. And we moved the chicken coop over here last summer so that we could keep an eye on them from the house. And it's really kind of hosing up the whole yard. It's become the centerpiece. We've just purchased another chicken coop and what we wanna do is set it up here with a long run that goes back. And that way we'll be able to see them from the house still but they'll be able to have a lot of space to do their own thing and it won't be right in the middle of the yard and because dude that's where we're gonna have a wedding I don't know if I've mentioned it um, or I may have mentioned it like a million times but this September we're gonna be having a wedding here on the property uh, my brother and his wife actually got married in 2020 during the whole COVID lockdown and they're going to be this year doing a couple of weddings with actual guests at them. They're going to be doing one here and they're going to be doing one out in Ohio. So I'm doing my best this summer to get this, to get this yard looking as beautiful as it possibly can be, run with Katie's colors and just make it ready for a magical, magical afternoon. So we're gonna be doing a lot of landscaping over this summer, including moving the chicken coop. Because right over here in front of this gorgeous maple, we've been calling this the mother maple, is where they're going to get married. Time to move the chicken coop. So this is how we're looking so far. Our little Rose of Sharon, she's perking back up. It's all this beautiful green growth on her. I have no idea what's coming back in here. It might be zinnias. I believe I had zinnias in there last year. Um, or possibly gazanias. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see what comes back up. This corner here. I'm trying to plant things that I hope will come back next year as perennials or possibly as reseeding. I put in some artichokes that I raised down in the basement. We put in some celery, some pink celery, 
and a little bit of spinach. Also coming up here are the sugar snap peas. And I've got them up against the trellis. And we'll see how tall they climb. Really, these are just snacks. They're just snacks. The arugula is coming back. Our uh, former neighbor gave me this little cute tub and it's got claw feet. And I have filled it up with lettuces and they're doing pretty good it looks like. Got some curly lettuces and some butter crunch. Meanwhile, over here I've got bok choy. Brussels sprouts in the back and some Asian greens over here on the left. I have no idea what kind of Asian greens. They were just listed in the store as Asian greens. So we'll see what happens with that. And then beans. This is all stuff that I started in the basement way too early, way, way, way too early. So I don't know for sure if it's going to make it or not, but we'll find out. Onions and a ton of leeks. The garlic mustard has been prolific. If you look around the spots where we haven't finished weeding yet, um, you can see there are just tons of garlic mustard. So that's gonna get weeded out. But over here, decided to keep one um, because they're really delicious to cook with. Well, the leaves are at least. And it looks like I've got bee balm and echinacea coming back. There is a random active onion. I'm just gonna leave it and let it do its thing. Might be garlic, don't know. Um, we'll find out. Put in some chard and a little bit of fennel over here. And then, oh my goodness, look at this garlic that we planted back in November. It's looking fantastic. So we put in that garlic in November and I'm really excited about it because last year we did elephant garlic, which it's just not the same. It's just not the same. So I'm super excited about this. I put in all hardneck garlic um, because it, it seems to be better up here in terms of storage garlic. Strawberries are starting to come back to life. No blooms yet, but I'm sure we'll see them soon. I'm keeping my fingers crossed on the strawberries. It was super cold for a little bit. Um, we're just starting to get warm again. So I'm hoping that brings us some blooms soon. This is that Ruth Stout patch. I planted some potatoes in here. Nothing's up yet, but I'm not really expecting much for about another three, four weeks. King Tut purple peas are coming in nicely on this trellis. And we have the Jillian's caseload coming up nicely on the trellis beside it. There's still a bunch of weeding and mulching that needs to happen on these peas. So we're probably gonna get to that this weekend. Um, but it's it feels like it's coming together. So there are crickets in that kennel, and we're gonna hope for the best. We'll see if we catch the right bird. Well, we caught him. I caught him. He was mad about it, but he is in there and not noticing he's got all those delicious crickets, and he is gonna be on his way. It's been good knowing you. It's been really good knowing you. Oh, Zuzu. Oh, Zuzu. You're being evicted. To a better place with women. We are a week out of being rooster free 
and the ladies are doing great out there. They seem really calm and relaxed and feathers are growing back. I got a note from Diane who took our bird and she said he is settling in like he has always been there and I couldn't be happier for him. Thank you so much for coming along on our de-roostering adventure and we will catch you up soon. Take care.